the first commander of the recently integrated U.S. Army Europe and Africa, General Christopher Cavoli, relinquished command to General Darrell Williams during a ceremony on Clay Cassern. So as I hand this command over to this legendary soldier, I am filled with confidence. I know that under Darrell's leadership, U.S. Army Europe and Africa will continue to be the bedrock of security, stability, and prosperity on two continents. Having served in the past as NATO's Allied Land Forces Commander and U.S. Army Africa's Commander, Williams is no stranger to the region. It's so great to be back here in, in beautiful Germany. Uh, my wife and I have been here many years, and um, we're so fortunate to be in charge of uh, the soldiers and families of the United States Army, Europe, and Africa. It's an honor to be back. We're so forth look forward to uh, working with everybody here in Europe. Understanding the role U.S. Army Europe and Africa plays in the joint force, Williams is focused on maintaining readiness. Well, my number one priority is about readiness. Uh, we're the United States Army. We support both Europe and Africa. It's important that we're ready for the combatant commander uh, all the time. So our focus, my number one priority will be and will continue to be, is focused on Army readiness. Concluding the ceremony, General Christopher Cravoli thanked the men and women who serve in U.S. Army Europe and Africa. Your presence does honor to me, but not just to me. It has done honor to our relationships and our commitment to each other. It is that commitment which will bear us into the bright future of our tomorrow. God bless you all. God bless all of your nations. God bless the United States Army. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Cavoli will now head to U.S. European Command, where he will assume the role of Supreme Allied Commander Europe. Reporting from Biesbaden, I'm Specialist Theodosius Santolov.